Okay, so I'm going to kind of walk through the general linear model, and this is section 13.3. So there's a lot of verbiage in there, and I'm going to try to break this down as simple as possible. So Andy Fields is looking at happiness, and we're going to use the covariate love of puppies. Okay, so we're going to do that same study. We're going to look at how does happiness, how is happiness influenced by the amount of time spent with the dog, but taking into account a person's love for puppies. So he gives a data summary here. Okay, so this is this is um, actually on page. Let me just have a look here real quick. This table is on um, table 13.2 on page 426. And it's giving you the average participants' happiness for the control group, the 15-minute group, and the 30-minute group. And then it's also giving you their love for puppies for the control, the 15 minutes, and the 30 minutes. Okay, and this number right here, this 2.73, um, he's going to come back to this. So... Um, just kind of know that the 2.73 is going to be used in the regression equation later on. Okay, so these are just your, your summary of your data. So when you run a linear model, you get two models. Okay, so this first model only includes love of puppies. All right, and we're only including love of puppies to predict happiness. All right, but we know that we've got 15 minutes and we've got a 30 minute um time spent with puppies. So this is what the second model represents. All right. So if you have a look on page 427, and it actually gives you that, um, I'm sorry, not 427, on page uh, 428. All right. So this second model includes love of puppies, 15 minutes and 30 minutes of puppy time. And how does this model ultimately predict a person's happiness? And so based on these beta coefficients right here, we can predict whether or not somebody is more or less happy given time that they've spent with a puppy and how much they love the puppy. Okay, so here are our equations. Okay, so here I've got my prediction equation 1.789 plus 2.225 long, 1.786 short, and 0.46 times puppy love. Where are these numbers coming from? So I'm going to flip back here really quickly. And I'm going to be using this model, 1.789, 0 0.416, 1.786, and 2.25. This is our prediction equation to predict happiness. All right. That's these numbers right up here. So let's see. If we spend no time, all right, with the puppy, for 15 minutes and we spend no time no 30 minutes with a puppy but we did have puppy love how happy would we be so we're not we're not experiencing any time with the puppy we just know that we love puppies how happy would we be so based on this prediction equation we'd have a happiness value of 2.95 now in the book it's a little confusing because he uses the value 2.73 so he times 0.416 times 2.73 that 2.73 comes from this average value of love of puppies. So hopefully that doesn't get too confusing when you're reading it. Okay, so you had a happiness value with no time spent puppies of 2.95. Here we're using the example of 15 minutes. All right, so we want to cancel out the 30 minutes. So you multiply that by zero and you say, okay, I've got 1.786 multiplied by one. He talks a little bit in the book about dummy coding. And again, I've got my puppy love. So this is tend to taken into account how much you love puppies on average and spending 15 minutes with a dog. What is our prediction of happiness? And our prediction of that happiness is 4.71. Okay. So now let's look at 30 minutes. So the 30 minute one is saying, I'm going to spend 30 minutes with the dog and I've got an average love of puppies of 2.73. What is my level of happiness? 5.15. So in essence, if you look at all of these prediction equations, what it is in essence saying is that the longer time you spent with a dog and the, and the amount of puppy love somebody has influences how happy a person is. So you've got to spend time and you've got to have love for the puppy. And the length of time makes a difference because the more time I spend with the puppy, the more happy I am because I'm looking at 4.71 versus 5.15. So hopefully that helped explain a little bit of the text because he has a lot of text in there, um, but we will do an analysis and we can see some of this maybe in examples.